The People's Democratic Party in Akwa Ibom State has debunked reports in some section of the media suggesting that Governor Udom Emanuel and the PDP have adopted a certain aspirant for the 2023 governorship election. The State Publicity Secretary of the Party, Barista Ini Emmerbong, presented the party's position at a press conference in Uyo, the capital. Attention as the party has been attracted by various articles online and in traditional media suggesting that the governor, Udom Emmanuel, and the party headed by Obon Polipo has either adopted, endorsed, encouraged, or prefers an aspirant in the build-up to the 2023 governorship elections. We wish to state for the records that as a party, the discussion of 2023 is still very unripe and immature at this moment, as the second term of the governor, Udom Emmanuel administration is yet to even reach a year we urge those trying to stimulate the commencement of the 2023 cycle to instead channel their energies in collaborating with the current administration in the attainment of its completion agenda. To our jurisprudence, appeal court judgments on Aquabum's northeast senatorial districts cannot be arrested. Being a press statement by me on behalf of the People's Democratic Party on the recent or current recent events at the Court of Appeal. This press conference. The facts are that the Court of Appeal sitting in Calabar over the appeal filed by Honorable Basieto and Honorable Emmanuel Lukoite and the All Progressives Congress against the judgments of the Elections Petition Tribunal, which judgment was delivered in favor of distinguished Senator Basi Albert and Honorable Unyumide of Akwaibu North East, Senatorial District, and Okanofino Rowanam Federal Constituencies, respectively. Upon conclusion of arguments, oral arguments, and the adoption of briefs, judgment was reserved for Tuesday, October 15, 2019. On the set date, the panel arrived at the court premises but did not sit. However, the Registrar of Court informed everyone who was in court that judgment in all the cases on the cost list for that day will no longer be delivered without any further explanation. As a party and defendant in these cases, we find this situation very awkward and therefore we invite the attention of the international community, the National Judicial Council, the Chief Justice of Nigeria, civil society groups, to the existing anomaly as regard these cases. While our party and candidates who have transited into government functionaries are obviously peace-loving and law-abiding citizens, we advise the various authorities that adjudicating on election matters not to mistake our civility and respect for the rule of law for ignorance or cowardice. We therefore demand that the judgment in the cases of Senator Basi Albert, Honorable Unyumidem, and all other cases due for judgment be delivered forthwith. We urge the noble justice of the Court of Appeal to do justice according to law and deliver judgment, conscious that it is a sacred duty to which they took an oath to undertake. They must perform justice though the heavens fall. But in our experience, we have noticed and the world knows that the heavens have never fallen when justice is done. They should shun those who threaten them with victimization or lure them with speedy elevation to the apex bench. They should be circumspect of political turncoats and opportunists masquerading as statesmen and federal agents. These people who are currently promising them favors that have the capacity of robbing the judiciary of its nobility. The justices must remember their sacred rules as ministers in the temple of justice and avoid the shame that their compromise can bring to their name and the noble profession of law.